Yes, love, tell us about your childhood. My childhood wasn't the very easiest childhood. I didn't have the best upbringing. It was kind of emotional for me. I had to rethink a lot of things before doing this video, but a lot of people like, hey, that accent. Well, I was born in Bronx, New York, and I was pretty much brought up into Massachusetts, but we would travel back and forth from Massachusetts to New York consistently, maybe two, three times a week because my parents were big time drug dealers. They would drop me off at my aunt's house that she lived in Trinity Ave in Bronx. And I would stay hanging out with my cousin as my parents would do what they needed to do. I witnessed many things that a child at my age shouldn't have witnessed. I would see my parents roll up some white paper which now I know it's marijuana. Back then it was illegal, but now it's legal if you do it. And I would see my parents do that. They would pick up big time drugs, travel back to Massachusetts. I would see my mom snort things up her nose because that would bring peace to her, okay? That would bring tranquility, apparently, right? That was her happy place. When she was high, she could get things done in the house. And you know, I noticed that she would hide a lot. And I don't know, she looked like this little animal, I would always say. But that was her peaceful place. That was the place where she didn't feel anxious, apparently. But I noticed that as a child, my peaceful place, the place that I thought was pretty nice was when they would bring me to church. My parents, they went in and out of church so many times, but I loved being there. I noticed that I loved being there. I would go in the bathroom and I would pretend like I was dancing in the Holy Spirit. It was so beautiful and I loved to sing. My favorite song to sing when they would put me to sing Service of the Children was Bang Bang Bang. And let me tell you, when they gave me the microphone, I didn't know how to give it back. I just knew as a child that it was something that I absolutely loved to do. Growing up, there was always people coming in and out of my home. We owned three pets because my parents didn't really believe in having a gun for protection. But we had three dogs that would definitely protect us. They were very vicious dogs. My parents were very well known in our city just because of what they did. They were very well respected. And I remember just not really growing up with that love you know what I mean? That affection from your parents. They didn't really have time. They never really drove us to school. We would walk to school. When things were coming up at school, they would never come to, you know, support. It was tough. My sister, which is like my bestie, she was the one that pretty much raised us. She would do all the motherly things, washing clothes, cooking, taking care of her sister. Everywhere she went, my mom pawned me off to her. I witnessed everything my sister went through. I was always with her. Of course, she didn't like that. But I always was trying to look for attention. So my way of looking for attention was getting into trouble. I would get into so much trouble in school. I got kicked out of school numerous times. I got expelled. I had to go to alternative schools in middle school because they caught me. I started to smoke weed eventually. It caught me smoking weed in school. I ended up going to alternative school when I was in high school. So I didn't really have a normal life. I was always constantly on the street hanging out with all these different types of gang members. I was just not really a troublemaker or anything like that per se, unless someone started with me because they thought I was small and stuff like that. So I ended up getting the name Tyson because I got into a couple of fights with some females. But that was because they started with me. I was not a troublemaker. I loved filling with the guys. I was a tomboy. We would go bike riding all over the city. We would play marbles. We would do so many different games, football, basketball. We would travel throughout the woods where I used to live in Upland Garden. And we would just do like these little forts, these little tents, these little bike riding and um, we would have like races and it was just amazing my upbringing as a child maybe I didn't have the love that I needed as a child but growing up I remember just everybody playing outside and getting together as a group and we would just play all these different types of games that you could possibly imagine catch the flag all the games we would play and I would have so much fun and that would literally take my mind off of my home one thing that I loved because when my parents would accept God into their life, they would go to church and that was like the peaceful place. That was where my mom took care of us. She loved us. She would bake cakes and put sprinkles on it and we would eat it. And I remember just growing up and we would have like Christmas and they would decorate the tree. But we didn't have any old type of decorations on the tree. We would have money. 
<laughs> I wish I could find a picture so I could show you, but every single thing had like dollar bills, $10 bills, $5 bills, 50, hundreds. And people would come to the house literally to put an ornament, which was money on our tree. I remember one time they tried to actually rob my parents at gunpoint and they took a lot of that money that was on the tree but we went through so much and if you want to hear more stories about my upbringing i definitely will bring it i am doing this series and it's going to be about me and i just want to let you guys in i never grew up in a church nothing like that i grew up in an environment that was toxic that was crazy that was psychotic it was tough it was tough but i have so much more to tell